Welcome again to another interesting tree in the garden. Uh, we've just been walking around and um, debating and um, trying to look at the different types of trees. And these two trees that I'm going to show you, talk about, are very closely they look alike. And um, we're trying to distinguish the difference. So there, how are you, Mr. Jeta? I'm okay, how are you, sir? I'm all right, good, good. Sure. We are looking at these two trees. This is another, uh, I've got this one from here. Yeah? Uh, there we are. Have a look there. And uh, I bought that one from that uh, that tree, yeah. This is one of them, yeah. So we need to find out what 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 name, what tree is this? This so, one, uh, this one should be Pillow Street Masoni Time. Yeah. Uh, we call it uh, the monkey bread. Yeah. Some call it uh, uh, in Venezuela, it's called Yaba Haba or Musekesa. Musekesa. Yeah. In Shona and Haba Haba in Tebele. Yes. yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, this one is a delicacy. Yeah. yeah, monkeys. That's why it's called monkey. How, how, how yeah. tall does it grow? Uh, it's a big tree, a very big tree. Uh -huh. It can grow probably over 40 meters, over probably 10, 15, 15 meters, meters or so. Or so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a benefit to our life. Yeah. Yes, indeed it is. Yeah. Okay. And well, they like it so much. They do like it very much. Any interesting thing about this trunk? What What can you say? Is there any difference in looking at that one and this one? Because the leaves are quite similar. Is there anything yeah, you can uh, see? You notice that the features are, are a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, this one is good. Uh, the features are not that deep. Yeah. Unlike that one, the Mupani tree. Yeah, okay. They are a little bit uh, smooth, yeah. not very deep. Yeah. Yeah. And also, actually, it's also indigenous to Zimbabwe, so it's a local yeah. tree. It's a lo very local tree. Yeah, which drives. Uh, Okay. Just any medical benefits or any of that? Uh, medical benefits, not really. You know. not, not, yeah. not, not, nothing that I know. Yeah. But it is a, it is a delicacy. Even humans, humans okay. do eat uh, the pod. The pod as well? Yes. Okay. okay. Some use the pod to actually some porridge. Some porridge on it? Yeah. Okay. It is okay. A, it's a very good nutritious. Humans, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there anything you can add on this kind of tree? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. Thanks very much for that information. We're just gonna look at some don't see it. We're gonna look at this now. This is the uh, yeah. Very indigenous to Zimbabwe, and we find quite a lot of it around this area. And this is natural. We didn't grow it ourselves. It is just growing itself here. Uh -huh. And most of the trees are mostly mopanis. What 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 can you say about this tree? Uh -huh. What distinguishes it in term? Mopane uh, yeah. doesn't uh, doesn't produce fruits that are edible to humans, yeah. both humans and animals. But it is a big nut. You said it's a big nut. It's not the yeah. It also produces the food bowls. Yeah. Uh, unlike the unlike the the, the, the pillow stigma, which sometimes uh, produces a, a stem which is sort of crooked. Yeah. Mopane stems usually are actually straight. Okay. And they are very strong. They're very strong. They're very durable hard wood, yeah. Okay. Which can which is used in construction. So the local communities, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it is mainly found in black soils. In black soils. Some people call it Ichitaka. Okay. Yeah. And then you only find it in black soils. Yeah, mainly in black soils. Yes. What about in terms of regions? Because you only in the Matagoli North we have um quite arid regions. So is it only in, in, in sort of arid regions or you can find them in Marondera? Can you say in the same Marondera? Or in the watershed? Yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, Mopane is quite. Uh, you can adapt. It can, yeah, it can adapt. It's firstly, it's actually distributed, uh, distributed all around Zimbabwe. Yeah. Even in uh, cooler climates. Okay. But uh, you will probably find that uh, it does well in in, in warmer region. in warmer regions, arid regions. Yeah. Okay. You, you find that probably the the the, 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 the same potential growth yeah. threats yeah. compared to cooler 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 regions. There's something interesting I want if always wanted to ask. So if you come at the right time, um some I think yesterday I did beat up some elephants down that side and they were chewing these mopani branches. And I did test it myself to yeah. see if how juicy it is or it can be as big as an elephant or whatever. But anyway, the question is, what's what's so nutritious about the mopani? Why why are elephants chewing that? The actual uh, stick. Okay. What's uh, in there? What's in this uh I wouldn't, I wouldn't know exactly, but yeah. I think uh, it produces some form of resin. Yeah. As you can see, probably this here. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I think this, oh, this that's some a juicy the, part. Yeah, I think this is some of the, the good stuff that you want. That will be being followed by, by elephants. elephants. Oh, what in here? You notice that Mopani usually grows uh, in, as you said, in clay areas. Yeah. Mm. So clay areas are usually associated with water. With water. So it's elephants actually light. attack the rock areas because they usually hold a lot of water. water. Yeah. So probably in, in terms of destruction, yeah. elephants did destroy a lot of Mopani. Yeah. And I think it's of uh, the water storage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very sure about that. Maybe we maybe we'll have to search more that. A bit deeper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um so so this is a very what about um Mopani worms? Why yes. why do they favor only these and not any other tree? Uh well, what what's in the leaves? <laughs> <laughs> I would lie. Yeah, I would lie. I'm not very sure what's so what about leaves? the Mopane leaves, but yeah. I, what I know is Mopane, it must be something special. Mopane worms do favor these, these ones. Actually, they are called Mopane worms because they are found in Mopane yeah. trees. Yeah. yeah, you also do have some worms, yeah, those are favoring some, some of the plants and trees. Okay, but uh, I think the, 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 the common ones are yeah. Mopane, Mopane worms. worms. Yeah. 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 We also have some worms which are also affected. Yeah. Which, uh, which are usually found in some carrot trees. Carrot trees. Yes. Okay. And some the people call it mistake. I think mistake. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. okay. I'm a... Carrot. Yeah, you know, the... Mopani worms are not mistake. Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 I'm not very sure what's peculiar about the leaves of the Mopani. Mopani. They do favor the leaves. But um, that's very interesting. When, 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 when it comes to, to propagation, yeah. this one is very easy to propag to propagate. You can, you can probably get from seed, okay. or you can use cutting. Cutting. Yes, the seed will, can take, take about two to three weeks to okay. germinate. Okay. Depends, depending on the, the condition. Okay. Yes. So elephants do spread the seed as well. Mm. Yes. yes. They also they have in the of course. Okay. Because the animals, uh, animals are also sort of like but I've never yeah, seen the cutting. Are you sure it does? Yes, yeah, it does. All oh, right. Yes, this time of the year, between August, September. Okay. Yes. You can have cuttings of this one. Yes. Then and it grows. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Wow. That's, as well. that's very interesting. So we can find a way of actually regenerating the forests again by actually propagating and uh, cutting these and um, planting them in the areas where there's a lot of deforestation. And this could be an answer. Sure. Yeah, yeah I think so. So. Most people haven't got that knowledge that it's actually easier to do before the rains. Just cut that and, you know. Yeah, actually, the same is propagating is a simpler way. Or simpler way, way of propagating. Yeah. yeah. Because they grow faster. Grow faster. The development is faster. Faster. Unlike seed. Yeah, like production seed. from seed, yeah. Faster. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that knowledge. Yeah. And, okay. um, and we hope to share that and people have the knowledge as well that there is more you can get out of this tree. And let's not destroy the trees. Thank you. Once again, thank you. Yes.